Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you my quality rendering settings and capturing settings for EasyCat. So first of all you want to load up you lead Video Studio Movie Wizard. And then after that's loaded up your source will be the Syntec STK1160 or the EasyCap. Then you want to click on, op then they want the format to be DVD and click on options. Video and audio capture property settings. You want the source to be video composite unless you have an S video cable. And you want it to be PAL. You want the audio device to be microphone USB in audio interface and master volume. Click on capture. You want it to be DVD. Frame size 720 by 576. You want the quality. I have the quality at 80, but you can turn it up to 100 if you want to stop lag. Click on, then you click on advanced. Click on DVD PAL. The template should be DVD PAL 720 by 576. Then you want the aspect ratio to be 16 by 9. Number two. You want the bit rate to be constant at around 8,000. You want the audio format to be MPEG and the mode to be stereo with a bit rate at 64. KBPS and just click OK. Then click OK again. And then you can ca go ahead and capture the video, but I've already got one, so well, you can close that now after you've captured your video. And then you can exit your easy cap. Okay, now what you want to do is open up Sony Vegas Pro 9 and File, New Project. You want the template to be PAL DV widescreen 720 by 576 at 25 F FPS. You want 720 lower field order and just keep that the same. Frame rate 25. You want the pixel format to be 8 bit. The resolution rendering quality best, and um, the blur Gaussian deiterance method zero. You can leave the rest of it. So just click and start all the projects with these settings. Then click OK. Then to import media, you want file, import media, click on desktop, and your name. Let's click on my documents. Then you want to click on Video Studio, you lead Video Studio SE folder. Then there'll be one called 10. Then you want to open the video you just recorded. So I'll open this one. Then you want to drag your video onto the timeline. I'm just going to delete some of this so it renders a lot quicker. Then after you've done that, click File, Render As. You need to make sure it's window media value, V11 WMV, then click on custom. Make sure it's quality VBR, Windows media audio 9.2 and VBR quality 1044 KHS and stereo VBR. Then you can click on video, make sure it's quality VBR, window, win, um, Windows media video 9, high definition, 1280 by 720 the pixel aspect ratio is 1 then the frame rate at 30 and the seconds per keyframe 5 then you can leave the bit rate and the index just go straight to project and make sure the video rendering quality is best save project marks and the final is ticked and stretch video to fill out but frame size is ticked as well so then you can go ahead and render the video See, so it's full screen there. It's full screen right here. So I'll just let this. As you can see, it's just about to be finished rendering. So you need to just wait for it to finish rendering. And then it will go onto the desktop. So just wait for it to finish. Okay, so it's on 100% now. So you can close out of Vegas when it's finished rendering, so just close it out.
you can save it if you want to but I'm not going to Click no what you want to do is open any video converter the link will be in the description and then the video will be called untitled or whatever you named it so you need to drag that into the any video converter as you can see it's in there so you want the profile to be M2TS movie which is on the bottom on common video formats so then you want to click on it and then press convert as you can see it's just coming up to close and um, with this format it will go up to 100% once and then it will restart so you just need to let that do that first and then just wait for it to convert again so <coughs> go on it and then when, as it, when it finishes converting you want to load up your browser well, I use Mozilla and then, and then just click on the internet you want to go on your upload video page so upload video obviously then you click on desktop your name then documents again but this time there'll be a folder called any video converter so double click on that then there'll be a format called m2ts click on that one and then there'll be a game called Untitled, so that's this one here, and then or, or whatever you named it. And so then I'll just upload, and then that's that's how to get the best render settings and recording settings with EasyCap. Thank you. Comment, rate, and subscribe.